Hello guys, uh, it's me again, Paul, aka the uh, Virgin Angel, and um, tonight I'm going to be sharing with you guys, or I'm going to be showing you guys how I paint um, miniatures. Uh, as most of you know, I'm working on the uh, Turn A Gundam, and um, just to share... One of the things that I love about uh, doing Gunpla and basically why I have this hobby is uh, doing detailing. I'm not very good, I'm not a pro, but I enjoy detailing like really small stuffs part of the kit. Uh, there's one part of the kit that needs detailing and that's going to be the uh, cockpit of the... Um, core fighter now um, here's here is the cockpit now um, I don't know if you can see the details through my uh, camera but uh, yeah basically I've already uh, primed the uh, area that uh, needs to be uh, painted now, just one quick uh, run through of the uh, materials that I use for this. Um, tip number one I'm going to give. If you're going to be um, working on miniatures. By the way, this is the, uh, the uh, miniature figure for my Charles Kshatriya diorama. Okay. Um, I detail that and paint in that as well specifically for that project uh, going back step number one I would advise if you're gonna be painting miniatures it's best that you um, you peg it on on something like uh, in this case a stick uh, here's what I did um, I basically um, added the uh, part here okay um, on a uh, blue tack blue tack you can buy that at any national bookstore or any um, uh, well art store art craft store and basically you can stick the part on the blue tack for added uh, well, to prevent parts from being painted, parts that you don't want to be painted, uh, this is what I use, masking sole. So, if you would notice, I've applied masking sole on the uh, cockpit itself. I mean, the actual capsule. Uh, I only wanted the inside to be painted. So I applied masking sole on the areas that um, I didn't want to be painted. Now, here's what I'm going to be using for paint. Here are my Citadel paints. I've mentioned in my videos before that the reason why I love this paint, it's uh, basically water-based and um, I, I love the finish it uh, spreads out evenly so I'm gonna be using skull white and I'm gonna be using ultramarine blue most of you guys uh, for those guys or for those GMAC bros who watch the uh, turn a Gundam uh, series you would know that uh, Loran or Laura uh, I don't know why they gave the lead character an androgynous name, but basically he's Loran, and he's also called Laura. Uh, his uniform, it's white. Now, on the turn A, on the uh, capsule inside the cockpit, there are blue, um... I don't know if you're gonna call that joystick 
but uh, basically that's why I chose these two colors it's very simple blue and white so what I normally do is I just dip my brush on the paint make sure I don't get too much and in this case you would really need a really really small brush okay and just paint the area you want to paint now the reason why the stick is very advantageous is because I don't really have a very steady hand okay so like I was saying painting miniatures is something that I enjoy because you need to really concentrate when I'm painting miniatures I just need to relax and if you can see my hands is shaking a bit because I'm like I said I don't have steady hands so um what I normally do is I just try to relax and um lower my heart rate so I can concentrate and uh, not mess up okay now I'm just painting the area or the body with white paint just so the detail would show uh, sorry about my camera here it, it's not the best camera and it can't focus that well see the advantage of putting the uh, miniature on a stick it helps you maneuver the areas that you need to paint so this is gonna take a while what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this and alright guys I'm back and um, there you go I've uh, pretty much painted the area that needs to be white or the um, well Loran the uh, pilot I don't know if you can see it uh, here but yeah okay it's uh, he's already painted and um, again uh, you notice okay it's not perfect okay there are some white white uh, paint scattered here 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 and uh, that's fine that's basically why I uh, used uh, I made sure I uh, applied masking salt on the areas that I think would be um, well um, accidentally painted so now uh, another way of painting miniatures the way I do it make things easier since you're working on a very small surface is using these stuffs uh, or, uh, this is uh, your regular bamboo uh, toothpicks so same process uh, you dab the tip of the toothpick you have some paint there and that's what you use to apply the paint uh, you can see that here do that here see 
Alright. Remember? Like the uh, cockpit of the Turn A? Laurent would be holding like this. Uh, his hands would be holding this. Uh, or holding or it would be inside this uh, blue glove like joystick to uh, use or maneuver the uh, mobile suit that's why I got blue and I'm painting that area blue So again, um, regulating my heartbeat so that I can minimize the uh, shake shakiness of my hand. Uh, this is the first time that I'm actually doing a a video tutorial wherein I'm actually doing some hand painting. So, I apologize guys if, um, this is not really good. Uh, this is just one shot. If I mess up, uh, too bad. Okay. But, uh, basically, the reason why I'm making this video is just to share you guys. I'm gonna pause this again, finish up, and show you guys the end results. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, there you go. Char is now ready to meet his fellow pilot, Moran. The last thing I do, okay, when I'm painting miniatures, since I've applied layers of paint as I apply top coat at the uh, very last, as the very last layer to seal in the um, paints. So all I need to do now is remove the uh, mask I applied and yep there you go that's why i love masking so okay see it just easily peels off and the part which i didn't want to be painted was not painted all right So, there you go. See, the uh, only thing that was painted would be the uh, inside of the capsule. And there's the uh, pilot. I'm still going to paint the capsule. I'm going to probably painted silver or gunmetal but I just wanted just wanted to um, share you guys with you guys painting miniatures all right where's that port here now when I um, plug in the uh, yellow cockpit Uh, hold on. Oops. Okay, when you plug in the uh, hatch, you'll see the detail. You'll see a pilot. It's noticeable now. So, I hope you uh, learned a little bit of something here. And this is Paul, a.k.a. Diversion Angel, signing out. More power, guys. Bye.